Ben Thompson and Sally Nugent were hosting BBC Breakfast on Sunday morning and discussed the events of the night before. Saturday night was a big one for music fans, as it saw a live-streamed Glastonbury Festival and the Eurovision Song Contest. However, when the BBC presenters were discussing the music events, Ben took the opportunity to mock Eurovision and the UK's unsuccessful performance. BBC Breakfast reported on Glastonbury after Saturday night's live-streamed concert went wrong. Technical issues meant people who had paid £20 to see the virtual gig received an error message, denying them entry. Problems continued for two hours, after which organizers launched a free stream, meaning anyone could tune in, regardless of whether they had paid. However, the replacement stream could only be rewound by an hour, meaning the early parts of the show were still unavailable to viewers. Festival organizer Emily Evis apologized to fans in a post on Twitter, saying, I am so sorry about the problems with the stream. When BBC Breakfast reported on the live stream issues, arts and entertainment correspondent Colin Patterson noted that many music fans gave up on Glastonbury and ended up watching Eurovision instead. For many their night was ruined. This was a real blow, Colin revealed. I love the thought that they may even have been forced to turn over to Eurovision, Ben said, mocking the international singing contest. Well if they did they would have seen this. Sally began, with Ben butting in with, equally disappointed. Sally defended the competition, saying, it depends on who you were rooting for. Well okay good point, her BBC co-presenter Ben conceded. Sally continued. Italy won this year's Eurovision Song Contest that was staged in the Netherlands. Ben added. But, no surprise it was a bad year once again for the UK. James Newman was the only act to end the night with nil points from both the national jury and the public. He then went on to say their reporter was watching the contest last night, joking, she had to. Later in the show, Ben highlighted the UK's unsuccessful performance, saying, it was a little bit of a disaster for the UK entry. However, Ben eventually admitted he didn't dislike everything about Eurovision, commenting, the staging was pretty incredible last night you have to give them that. Trending it was Italy's act Manskin who won the 2021 Eurovision Song Contest, after gaining a score of 524 points with their rock song ZTE Buoni. France came close to victory but ended up in second place, with Switzerland in third. Sadly, it wasn't a great night for the UK as singer-songwriter James Newman was the only act to score nil points. His dance track Embers failed to impress voters and as a result the UK ended up in last place for the second year running.